beautiful toys. What is up, everybody? Moscato Bot coming back to you here today, and um, I have a, a little kind of tip for the clock tower map on a horde. Now, maybe you've all been like me, where you hop into a horde match and everyone quits after wave 20, or there's like three snipers and you're a scout and you guys can't really do much because it's like three snipers. I'll stick around, but majority of the time, a lot of people quit and it pisses us off. So here's a little tip to maybe even just solo horde by yourself. It'll take a lot longer, but it is possible I have done it. Or if you got a buddy, you both can do it, no problem. Me and my best friend, we went through horde, all 50 waves on insane by ourselves. It can be done, you guys. The best map to do it for is Clock Tower. And I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute what my strategy is for Clock Tower in horde to do just with you and a buddy. But the great thing is, um, the Feral Horde event was uh, actually it ended yesterday. Um, it was double XP. Uh, it was really awesome. And you got to, uh, I think you had to do 200 waves of Horde to unlock the uh, Feral skin. So I think me and my best friend did it. I, maybe we only did 150, but it is what it is. But this works, you guys. Um, we actually did it on Feral Horde, but it works just by yourself or with a buddy on Clock Tower. I think Clock Tower is the best horde map for this reason alone. So check this video out. All right, you guys. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab the fabricator and haul it to the uh, grenades uh, location on Clock Tower. Now, this is kind of tricky. You gotta line it up just right. And I find it's uh, better to face the uh, lid, the actual opening of the fabricator on the outside. And you wanna block off this side to the van here. So they actually only have one way of entry. Um, this is just gonna Fabricator keep the deployed. fight straight in this little like uh, little entryway here. It's really really simple. See how I just place it right here? Check this. Now you can see I cannot deployed. actually get through the van here. So that's what you want. Cannot get through the van, which means the big guys cannot get through the van. Now, um, the only thing that can get through that area are the balls. But once we lay down some barriers here now in a sec, I'll show you that will not be an issue. <laughs> Just straight down that uh, that hallway there. That's that's where the enemies are going to be mainly coming through. Uh, you're just going to want to see how right there the uh, enemies actually keep getting stuck. See, we got a DB stuck right there. He can't get through. He's just looking at the wall. They can still shoot you and get on cover on the van, but that's about it. And I'll show you here now in a second. A ball actually does get through. Like I said, as soon as we get a barrier up there, that's not going to be a problem. This strategy works out really, really well. Um, even with two people, you guys, me and my best friend did this all on insane. I'll show you now here in a second. Uh, we actually, um, we did this on the, uh, feral horde, but there's how you want to lay your barriers down. You guys just straight down. So it takes the longest amount of time for an enemy to get to you. The first thing you're going to want to do is throw down at least four barriers like that all right next to each other just to block that whole entryway so nothing gets through not a juvie not the shockers nothing absolutely nothing should get through you guys all right wave two is now complete make sure you guys if you are playing as the scout make sure you have the uh pickup radius on obviously your fabricator uh, doubled uh up to 50 percent um when you uh, deposit energy in the fabricator but um yeah just go ahead and this is what i mean you guys just buy another uh buy another barrier and boom, set it down right there. That'll stop those shockers from getting through. And that's, that's basically it, you guys. You always want to keep at least those fences, level one or level two. Always keep those fences at those because the lasers, you tend to run through, you grab money or whatever, and they're just going to go away and enemies will flush right in. So at least keep the ones inside your main base. This is my little kill box. You want to keep those at level one or level two barriers. Now the best combo for this, you guys, even if you're only playing by yourself, obviously I would say a scout just to solo it because you get double the money. Make sure you get that double money before you um, the round actually ends. So that's why I said, I mentioned earlier, pick up radius and the 50% fabricator bonus on deposits. You need that. So I'm actually playing here with my best friend. He is an engineer, I'm the scout. And basically he has his sentry turrets uh, cards, full level uh, capacity. Uh, full uh, fire rate 
basically his sentry turrets are awesome. So right away what you guys are going to want to do is you want to build your barriers, keep them at level 2, and then you want to build at least 2 turrets. We all know that turrets just make everything easier and we're going to need them to help us through this fight. Especially since we're only playing with 2 guys because our other dudes quit. So this is what it should look like, you guys. You want to keep your enemies close. You want to keep all the energy right in front of your fabricator. That way it's just an easy quick and grab when your uh, engineer needs to repair something. But you want everything close. You do not want to spend as much time outside of your kill box as, as needed. You know, you just you want to hop in and hop out. That, that's it. So a quick recap, you guys. First, grab your fabricator. Put that into position to block off the van so the enemies only have one point of entry. Then build ba uh, barriers vertically as so the enemy takes the longest amount of time to get to you. Then build your turrets right away. Remember, like I said, you want to get as much money as you can before the round ends. So that's why the scout just needs to keep an eye on that. Right there, I almost missed all that money. So I, I got lucky at the last second that that DB ran through and I got that. Also, another little tip, you guys, don't forget your grenades. Tag them in places where you know the enemy is going to hop into cover. Uh, also, put two fences right here just because it'll block even those uh, trackers from even or enemies even trying to get up as close to the van. You want to keep building your barriers kind of outward as you progress through the waves just to keep them as far back as possible. This will help out so much later. Then once you guys have that money, start upgrading your uh, turrets to um, level 2, level 3. And get some sentries up if you got the engineer this just this is one of the best uh ways we found to go through all these waves with just two an engineer and a scout now here we got wave 20 i'm just showing you a clip here how we're taking out the snatcher basically that's almost all we got left he's about done come on come on come on come on come on die 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 and any minute now any minute there we go he is dead he is dead you guys we're gonna run out there and try and get that money real quick. Also, another tip, you guys, grab a drop shot. Just whenever your turrets are low or whatever, just to fire over all your stuff and your fortifications. I know it looks cluttered, but they're not getting through. And upgrade your fences outward, like I said before. Make sure you keep getting that money and just rinse and repeat, you guys. This this works and it's awesome. Enemies, bosses cannot get through to you. Like the snatchers can't get in there. The only boss that can give you problems is the uh, crawlers. They they basically, if they get through that little corner there, they will smash your fortifications and everything will get destroyed. So a good tip is put decoys out when you know you have a crawler. I still call them gunkers from Gears 3, but whatever. When you have a crawler, you're going to want to put decoys out on the boom shot bridge and that'll keep them occupied over there. Just put them around where I'm standing now by this van here. But yeah, just put them out there. They'll mainly focus on that or more out towards the bridge and you should be good. But this is what your base should look like by like wave 25. You should already have level 3 fabricator. Fences you want to keep building out like I said to keep the enemy as far back as possible. And it's just... It's just a freaking awesome kill box. Now, occasionally, here's the problem, you guys. You will have a swarm grenadier tossing a grenade, and you will die. Health and stuff, but there he goes. Those are grenades. A tip, I always pick up my turret. I'd rather sacrifice myself and keep my turret safe, because if I pick that up with Y, like I'm going to move it somewhere, it won't take damage, and that basically saves it. So, all right, here we go. We got another boss wave on wave 30. Uh, all our sentries are at level 3 going to grab that money uh, like I said it does get a little cluttered you guys but know your surroundings a good scout should always get out there and get all that money before the round ends just it, it it's things get heated especially on this feral uh, swarm uh, playlist for this weekend so but it, it just this this works so much me and my best friend have done insane just the two of us as a scout as an engineer even as a soldier and a scout or whatever it just as long as as long as one of us is rocking the scout uh, we can just keep getting money to build our fortifications and help level up our other dudes. So we help each other out. But the best combo and the most fun I find is the engineer and the scout. There we go. We got our turrets up to level four. Awesome. Like we're just, it's just basically a, a waiting game now. We just wait until we can upgrade our other sentries to level four. Like I said, keep those barriers inside at level two so they cannot get through. Let's say you run through the lasers or something by accident. You just do not want them to rush through. Uh, Keep this, keep all the money in this area, you guys. Look how I just, I got everything in one quick sweep. It's so simple. Run around, know your routes. I mean, you can play with it too and build your, you know, base how you want to build it. But this is just, this is nuts. This works so, so well. 
All right, you guys, so another tip for the crawlers. I'm gonna cut to the uh, final wave here real quick. But um, say he ignores your decoy, have your buddy run out there and distract him while you stay on the turret, you keep plugging him, and uh, you just basically wanna keep him away from your base. It's only happened once, but here our decoy was destroyed and my best friend ran out there and was keeping him off of us until we could finish this wave. But this strategy works, you guys. The bosses cannot get through. Just worry about, the only thing you have to worry about is those crawlers, but it's as sim it's simple as putting a decoy out or just running out and distracting him when he's the final enemy. But yeah, you guys, that is my little strategy for this uh, horde on Clock Tower, whether it be the Feral playlist or just in general, you want to do horde by yourself on normal, casual, even hardcore, it's possible. It does take a lot longer. So at least one buddy, I we found the best combo is a scout and an engineer. You can build your base faster. Uh, obviously an engineer with all his uh, sentry turret cards all the way upgraded, awesome awesome those sentry turrets uh they do work now you gotta level them up to level four obviously but it's just the fastest way to level up your fabricator this this technique works you guys it's awesome so anyways you guys that's it for this video thank you all so much for watching i'll see you on the next one be yourself moscato bots roll out oh hello it's a me moscato bot thank you for watching my video if you like the video please hit the like button for more videos on toys oh so handsome me on comics or for ass kicking video games <laughs> then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel Remember, Moscato Bots, till all are one. Moscato Bots, roll out!